In this third podcast from chapter 11, we're going to talk about a type of cell division called meiosis. And meiosis is very similar to mitosis, so we're going to use some of the same terms, uh, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase, but there's going to be some differences. And mainly it's because this is called reduction division. What happens in here is the number of chromosomes are half the number of the mother cell. So first of all, so I'm going to start by showing you the math of what happens here. So in a human being, the mother cell has 46 chromosomes. But we're going to divide it into two gametes. And in this case, we're going to make them sperm cells. Now, as you remember from a previous podcast, that a sperm cell is going to have 23 chromosomes in each. Because when a sperm cell joins with an egg cell that also has 23 chromosomes, that's going to get you to that 46. So how do we get our chromosome number cut in half? How do we go from 46 to 23? That's through meiosis. So I want you to really make sure that you remember that meiosis is reduction division, and we reduce it by half. All right, so how do we do this? The stuff in green and this stuff in this kind of magenta color is really, really important. You replicate the DNA once, but you divide twice. So when you replicate, now let me draw another picture over here again. Here's what's going to happen. All right. So you have 46 chromosomes. You go through replication, and temporarily you're going to have a cell with 92 chromosomes. Now, how many times do you divide? You're going to divide once. That's going to cut you down into 46 chromosomes. And then you're going to divide a second time. And then when you do that, you get cells that have 23 chromosomes, 23 chromosomes. And as you can see here, the same thing. So what you see what happens here was you replicated once. You divide twice. So we call this meiosis number one. And we're going to call this meiosis number two. So replicate once, divide twice. If you understand these two basic things, and you understand this short and simple little diagram I did over here, you're going to get it. All right? All right, the first division, as I just drew over here, is called meiosis number one. And this is where a very special process called crossing over starts. Uh, crossing over is a process in which the genetic variety is increased. And we're going to talk about that in more detail coming up. The second division is known as meiosis number two. And this is where the reduction occurs. So if you remember in that picture that I drew here previously, remember we went from 46 to 92 to 46 to 46. Notice this here was M1. Remember we had replication here. So during meiosis number one, we didn't really reduce the number. See, we're still at the same. It's during meiosis number two where you get the reduction, 23, 23. All right, so I just basically drew that one before. Reduction happens there. All right, now if you didn't like my picture, here's a little bit better one. Now, as you see here, you've got a maternal chromosome. That's the red one. And actually, let's just draw on this one. Okay, so maternal, remember, we use that symbol. And paternal, we use the male symbol. You go through replication, and you can see real clearly that there's two of each. And then remember, they're sister chromatids. Now we have this crossing over. And remember, crossing over increases genetic variety. Very, very important. Uh, think of it as a way that you are shuffling the cards. Or you're going to cut the deck. All right. So here we have the process of meiosis number one. Notice the original mother cell has one, two chromosomes. We have one, two here. And then we go through a process called meiosis two. And there we got one chromosome, one, one, and one. And if you notice, because of this crossing over, these two guys here are slightly different. So we have one, two, three, four genetically different cells. Genetically different. Now, here we've got. Uh, two chromosomes, and we only got one, so we went from two to one. There's the reduction. 
All right, let's talk about this uh, crossing over a little bit more in detail. And this is the actual coolest thing that occurs during meiosis number one. It first starts where homologous chromosomes are going to pair up in a process called synapsis. Remember, IS means process. And they're going to form a tetrad. And if you can remember from tetrad, the root word means four. So tetra means four. So we're going to have four of something. Now, once the homologous chromosomes are paired up as a tetrad, they're going to exchange portions of their chromatids. And this is the actual crossing over proper. And remember, this creates a greatly uh, much more genetic variety. All right, so let's just, over here on this little picture, let's draw in all the stuff that we just talked about over here in color. Okay, now remember, all this stuff is in color, which means it's very important for you to know. All right, remember tetrad, that word means four. The process of forming a tetrad is called synapsis. So right over here, we have the process of synapsis. And you look, count your chromatids. One, two, three, four. There's your tetrad. Now you see this part where they overlap? That is called a chiasma. Chiasmata is plural. All right, so this is one chiasmata. There's another chiasmata. Or I'm sorry, there's one chiasma, there's another one. Chiasmata is plural. It's at this point where they cross over is where they're going to exchange materials. So you see down here, you see how these two pieces have flipped? And then when they separate during anaphase, notice that we have one chromatid that's all one color, and then we have another chromatid that's a different color. So this is going to give us one, two, three, four different genetic varieties. And this crossing over is really, really important because genetic variety, that's the raw material for evolution. Without genetic variety, you cannot have evolution. Very, very important. All right, now what occurs during meiosis number two? Meiosis number two is essentially uh, regular old mitosis. Now remember, we only replicate once, we divide twice. Replicate once, divide twice. So we have no replication at all during our very short second interface. Now, when you're done with meiosis number two, you have four haploid daughter cells. Now, I'm not going to click on this animation. You can do this at home when you're looking at this or at school as you click onto the PowerPoint. But I just want to re review you're going from diploid to haploid. All right. So in humans, remember... Your diploid number is 46. If you do the math, the haploid number is 23. So we have an original mother cell that's 46. And then when we go through meiosis, after meiosis number one, we have 46. Get the same thing over here. And then when we go through meiosis number two, 23, 23. And 23 over here on these two. All right. Now remember, we went from diploid to haploid. And the reason that we did this is there is no replication a second time. So remember, you're going to replicate one time. You're going to divide twice. Okay. That's the number one things that you want to remember when you get to meiosis number, or actually we can do meiosis one and meiosis number two. All right, we're going to stop right there. We're going to pick up gametogenesis in podcast number four.